channel my name is Des if you're new here um, I'm gonna call this the quarantine favorites we've been home a lot I've gotten to know a lot of the things that I had in my home and I just thought I'd share with you some of my favorite things that have been getting me through this difficult time I will have you know that I'm, I thought I was coping well but last night my anxiety got so bad that it sent me into the ER because I thought I was having a heart attack my arm, my left arm, was um, tingling and numb, and so I ended up in the ER. This is life. In other news, I've started school, online school through Zoom. Um, I'm doing cosmetology school through the internet, which I never thought would be possible. But um, Zoom has become a new favorite, so I guess I'll just put that out there. Um, so I had a webinar with Glenn Coco, which wouldn't have been able to happen unless, you know, we were doing online school, which I mean, I guess there's positives and negatives and everything, but I learned things from Glenn Coco. And then I also had a all school wellness with Ian Michael Black, who is the Aveda um director for hair color and that is pretty cool so so let's just get into it there's some beauty stuff there's just some random stuff but yeah but i guess i'll start with beauty because i have a lot more beauty than i have anything else um going for skincare first I've been loving this Bliss Fab Foaming 2-in-1 Cleanser and Exfoliator with Bamboo Buffers. Um, I actually stopped using this for a while, but I went back to it because I needed something to really cleanse my skin and exfoliate. Even though I have super dry skin, the first time that I used this, though, I will say it dried out my skin way too much, and I think it just exfoliated a little bit too much. Um, but there's that but I've been using it ever since and it's been working I haven't really had too many breakouts um, the breakout that I did have I think it was really just stress related and it's going away which is good so if you're on the market for like a dupe for the um, I want to say is it Glossier or milk one of them has the jelly cleanser this one's pretty close to it and I do enjoy it moving on i am going to touch on face masks so if you do have the privilege of staying home and you don't work an essential job um and you are staying home you better be staying home um face masks and self-care are a big thing right now the yes to paper masks are really good i got this one because it was calming and um i think it's also hydrating but it is soothing which i think is good for this time i do need something to calm myself down um obviously my anxiety is high um but uh this is vegan and it's cruelty free and it's made with vegetable extract so i think these are really good and they're also pretty good price wise I think this was $2.99 and if you need to you can get it to do a drive up pickup order at Target so if you don't want to like, go into the store you can just go pick it up at the drive through and you'll be good so let us move on to hair so I've been really playing around with hair one because I am in cosmetology school now and two because I just never really did much with my hair. I was more of just like a color person. I wasn't much of a stylist, but I wanted to play with it. I did get my kit, so that was a big helper in that. So I did like an at-home blowout. I did at-home peach waves with the straightener that was provided, and I used like the Jen Atkin bend method. I don't know if that's her method, but I, I feel like she coined it. I think she is the queen of the bend and the perfect bend. Um, so I've been doing that. But one of the things that has like really just made them look super PC, super beachy and just perfect and like I woke up like this, I didn't put much effort but I did, um, is a texture spray. So I wanted something that was affordable and easy to get. I also picked this up at Target drive-thru, um, drive up, 
I don't know, you drive up to it. Um, it's the SGX NYC Salon Graphics, the Do It All 3 in 1 Dry Texture Spray, Volume Refresh and Hold. So I like this one because it does give my hair a little bit of hold and it also gives it texture and it could also be used as like a dry shampoo. Definitely, if you want to try a cheap texture spray and you want to be able to get your hands on it quickly, um, this is available at Target. So, Oh yeah, it is. It is actually free of parabens, petroleum, sulfates, mineral oil, vegan friendly product not tested on animals. So, good. That was good. Um, I just wanted to make sure. Another thing for hair that I've been loving lately are my clips. Um, I got a two pack at Target. These are just like the larger, or I guess medium size. All of my hair does not fit in all of this and I feel like I should have gotten a larger size. Or maybe they make one for thicker hair, but I have really thick coarse hair and so like if I wanted to do the whole like sleek thing it just doesn't really feel secure but it does work and I do love doing like a sleek claw clip bun just clipping part of my hair up and getting it out of the way I just feel like it's a really cute accessory so um, if you haven't already, which I'm pretty sure everybody and their grandmother has gotten a claw clip because it's all the rage, uh, go for it. It's really easy to do hairstyles with and it just makes getting ready feel effortless but still put together. Makeup wise, I've been actually, there's a lot of controversy with Wet n Wild whether it's actually cruelty free or not, but it is vegan and so I'm trying to make like choices based on that and I was using the elf foundation for a while but it's so drying and this one's a little bit more hydrating and the way that my skin is right now it's super dry so I've been loving using the wet n wild uh, photo focus which is this I have it in light medium and it's pretty much it <sighs> honestly it works better for my skin the way it is right now and according to PETA they are still cruelty free but I'm not really going to get into that. I just needed something to really just hydrate my skin and make my makeup apply a lot nicer than the e.l.f. one was doing and I needed something that wasn't going to break the bank so for right now I'm going to be using this. So for a primer I've been using the Wet n Wild again. I'm not going to go through that whole conversation again but I've been using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer and the Dewy Lumino. Um, it's really nice. It goes on the skin nicely. It kind of looks like a skin tint more than like uh, just like a regular primer. Um, it fits well with my skin tone, so maybe if like you're a little bit more fair or you're a little bit darker, it might not go as well, but I feel like this goes well with my skin tone. It also provides a nice base, and it does, for the most part, make me look dewy, and I don't have to go overboard with like my, um, highlight which is good um but let's face it i probably still do anyway i've been loving this i think it works and it keeps my makeup on for a good amount of time i've really not been going anywhere so that could be why it's just long lasting all day moving on i've been loving the elf instant lift brow pencil I, if you guys don't know i shaved off half of my eyebrow when quarantine first started. Um, I was going through it back then, I'm still going through it now, um, but I shaved it off. And this has been really helpful in like trying to play with that shape and trying to make it a little bit straighter and a little bit nicer. I do have a lot more room, which I really do like. Um, but anyway, I have this in, what color? I have this in the neutral brown. Um, I do apply a little bit of powder on because if I didn't, it would literally just wash or come off throughout the day but since we're not going anywhere I've decided that this is good and it lasts and it is super affordable it's two dollars uh, again you can get it at Target so I highly recommend if you're in need of a little eyebrow thing definitely recommend this Autumn is mad at the fact that the door is open Gotta, gotta tell her that it's okay. 
Alright, I'm back and I'm coming at you with another e.l.f. product. I absolutely love these little bite-sized eyeshadows. Um, I feel like they're kind of dupes for, I want to say, like the Charlotte Tilbury little uh, quads that I've seen that she put out, but I'm not sure. Um, but they do have similar colors. Um, not this one, per se, but they do have other ones. And I picked up this one. This one is the Carnival Candy. I love it. I love, like, the little pop of blue with all the neutrals. I just dropped it, so that's what happened there. Um, but you can create a lot of neutral looks and also just add, like, a fun pop of color. I'm actually wearing it right now. And so if you want, like, some cheap, fun new eyeshadows to play with, Definitely recommend picking these up. I believe they were $4. $2.99 at Target. Um, my go-to lip combo for quarantine glam has been Morphe Honeymoon Lip Liner. I love this lip liner. It's so affordable. and It's just like the perfect nude for my skin and for my lip color, I think. And it just looks really nice. Um... And then I pair it with this Wet n Wild Matte 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 Never Nude. And it's just like a really nice nude. I'm actually wearing it right now. I love it. I think it suits my skin tone and it goes perfect with any sort of eye look. Um, I love nude lipsticks and I've been trying to find something that I like and doesn't accentuate the dryness of my lips. And these are definitely it. Um, this is a stick lipstick so I feel like it's a little bit less drying than like liquid lipstick and that's what I currently need for the state of my dryness um I have been loving having something to just write in this is my inspired greatness Aveda Institute notebook that we were given um I'm using it as sort of like a journal and also to take notes but mostly like a personal journal for myself um, I kind of just write out my thoughts when I feel like they're just going to be a little bit too much. I also use it to write down like um, like video ideas and then when we have like all school wellness sometimes we are asked to you know write stuff down or do something um, and I think that it's been helping at least I thought it was but yeah I love it um, so if you have like a little notebook um, there's that um, but this one's my current favorite notebook. I have just been loving having something to write in, and not to mention I just love the colors, and it looks so sleek, and I love representing Aveda. I can't tell you how excited I am that I finally got into Aveda. Um, it's been a dream, and it's been a really long time coming. Another thing that has been keeping me sane and helping me get through, um, going to school myself and my daughter doing homeschooling is my airpods um you don't necessarily need to go out and buy airpods but i think having like some wireless headphones really does help in this time especially if you are trying to do something yourself and then you know you have a child at home or children at home um this helps for like working out and doing like video workouts or even like zoom calls uh you just connect it to whatever device you're trying to listen to and it works and you can get up and go and still be like in the loop which I've been loving my airpods I haven't like taken out my right ear airpod I think throughout the day for the past couple of days and it's just been a lifesaver so there's that two things that I feel have been helping me and have become a favorite in my quarantine time is having like some sort of inspirational book or motivational book um i was given this one when i went to orientation for a beta this is called life as a daymaker by david wagner i believe he is like the owner of a beta right now um i think so he is the founder oh no horst horst is the founder but i think david wagner owns like the corporation now but anyway, this book really helps me kind of see, like, even throughout the things that we're going through right now, um, it's really important how the little things can make someone's day. And obviously as a stylist and artist and makeup artist and stuff, I've, I've seen that firsthand. 
Um, and as I get further into my cosmetology career, I'm sure I'll see it even more. But in this time that we're in, I think it's really, this is a really good read. Or just have like some sort of inspirational book that you would like to read. I think it kind of changes the mood. And if you read something positive and uplifting, it's also going to change your viewpoint of everything that's going on, no matter how bad it is. Last but not least, um, I always said that I don't think that I would ever need an iPad. But yet, here we are. Um, I was given this iPad because uh, we get one with our kit. So I was kind of iffy, like, do I need any more Apple products? Like, I have my desktop, I have my laptop, I have my phone. What more do I need? Um, but this, I never realized, like, how convenient this little, this little guy was. Um, I also love how big the screen is. I love making collages. I made that collage, um recently just to keep me motivated and I use it as a background um and it's just so much better to do that sort of work on the iPad as opposed to my phone um I use like PixArt so uh you know I thought like oh I don't need it but this has become a lifesaver I can do zoom meetings during autumn's um nap time on the couch and like I don't have to get up and go to the desktop or like even lugging my laptop around. I know that's like first world problems, like really? No, but um, it's just so much harder to try to uh, bring the laptop or come sit at the desk for certain things. And so I've really been grateful and super excited that I was able to get this iPad. Um, it's become a new favorite. I'm excited. And that is going to be it for my quarantine favorites. I hope you guys are staying well. I hope you guys are staying home if you can. And if you're not and you're an essential worker, thank you so much for doing what you do. Um, anyway, that is going to be it for my quarantine favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. Share some of, um, share some of your favorites or some of your things that you've been loving doing in this time. And I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.